All right, welcome back to Market Day Report. I'm Scott Sch still Scott Schulte, still a cow guy, too. And uh, thank you very much for tuning us in. If you've been with us all day, that's great, too. Lots to talk about here. Why don't we bring up uh, these prices? Because you don't really care what I have to say. It's all about what these markets are doing. Like So if I punch that corn button, it's supposed to come up, and it does. My big, fat, bald head's in the way, though. So if we move that out, there we go. Five cents higher in that subcontract to 498 and a half. You know what, folks? It just really probably only put on a, a half a cent since we've last visited this board. Uh, the range in September is about 16 cents, right? And we're right now 498 and a half. We're up five. We're basically in the middle of the day's range. Dece is up four and three quarter cents to 505 and a quarter. I just say, you know, corn's getting pretty comfortable hanging around that $5 level. That's what I'm going to take from that. Let's move over and see what soybeans have in store for us. 12 and a half cents lower right now in August. 1472 and a quarter is last. We're two and a quarter cents from the low of the day. And we've had a 28 and almost a 29 cent range. So that'll give you an idea about the strength or lack thereof in soybeans, right? Novi new crop, that's down nine and a quarter cents to 13, 60 and a half. So soybeans kind of weak as we speak. Let's move over to the wheat. And this is the Chicago wheat, up 15 and three quarter cents. And that subcontract, 655 and a half is last. Three cents from the highs on a 21 cent range. How about that? That'll give you an idea where we sit. The Dece right behind it, that's up 15 cents to 674 and a half. And that too is about three and three quarter, three and a half cents from the highs. Hard red wheat. This is Kansas City's market, four and a quarter, 14, sorry, and a quarter cents higher. 8.20 and a quarter is last there. And that's about uh, four cents, four and a half cents from the highs. Dece is up 13 and three quarter cents. There we go, 8.24 and a half is last there. Now let's see about the spring wheat. This is gonna be Minneapolis. I used to live in Minneapolis. My dad was a Cargill guy and that's why. September is up 16 and a half cents. 8.78 and a quarter is last there. And what, we're about four cents off the highs. And we've had, uh, we've had about a, what, 24-cent uh, range over there, too. That'll give you an idea. Dece is up 17 and a quarter cents in that spring wheat contract. 884 and a half is last there. We're going to quickly touch on the cotton. Let's see what that's doing. It's down, but not much. 18 points lower and a quiet trade. 8150 is last, and that brings us to Las Vegas. And our next one, maybe not in Las Vegas. I just assume he's there. I think he is. Las Vegas, it's going to be Todd Bubba Horowitz. With Bubba trading there, it's Las Vegas. He's got that uh, Renoir hanging on the wall behind him. Uh, thanks. 17 degrees. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly right. Yeah, I'd melt. I'd start a grease fire. Um, all right, Todd, what do you think about these prices? I mean, you've seen what this... It doesn't seem like the USDA likes soybean traders very much after last Friday and Wednesday, do they? No, not really. But you know what? I, I think if you look at it objectively, which we try to do all the time, Scott, is, you know, they they got hammered and it's been really ugly. The economy has been ugly. There hasn't been many good things as much as they want to give us good news or tell us it's good news. But I think the good news is, is that corn held about 480 and is bouncing. And, and actually, today's rally was through and then came back a little bit, which is a, a pretty good technical spot, right? We're in consolidation. We're now at the upper end. So if we can break out above early next week, I think that that could be the bottoms could be in or the lows could be in here. Uh, same for wheat and soybeans. The truth of the matter is, is that the pullback is just right underneath some support that was the, the secondary support after the rally higher. So, you know, I'm, I'm not as, as, as depressed about the grains as I was. Uh, I think there is some opportunity here. Uh, we still need a better economy. We still, you know, still need some new money. And of course, with the equities, again, plowing forward, it's hard to find some new money out there. Yeah, I agree. And uh, and with the rates that you can get, you know, 5% on one year money, that's uh, also not a bad deal either. So, yeah, I agree with you there. Stay to, stay, stay right there. We're going to go away. We've got to pay some bills. We're going to come back and talk more livestock with Todd Horowitz, Bubba Trading in Las Vegas after this. Well, the other side of the equation has got to be the livestock. And there's been some stuff happening over there. We just keep this, this uh, cattle market. We had some pullbacks, obviously, this week. But here we go. We're back on the I guess we're back on the mend, could you say? Oh, let's see. All right, the live cattle board behind my big fat bald head. Let's bring that up. And then look, starting to tack on some gains here now. $2.40 higher to 179.30. That's only 15 cents off of the highs. And we've had almost, uh, well, yeah, almost a $3 range over there. Not quite. Uh, moving over to the D, sets up two bucks as well, the 185.37. And that too is a dime off the highs. So a good, strong live cattle board. Going into the last hour of trading, right? And let's take a look at the feeders. They've got some decent gains too, a buck sixty higher in that August, two forty six sixty. That's kind of in the middle of the day's range still, maybe the upper part of it. Uh, let's go to the Nove. That's up a buck ninety five to two fifty, spot thirty seven. And then finally, lean hogs, and we'll get back to our guest analyst who's been so patiently waiting the Wednesday. You know, we got August off forty cents, ninety six tens last there. 
That's in the middle of the day's range. If you go all the way out to Feb, the winter months, that's up 17 cents there to 80.50. Let's get back to our guest analyst, Todd Bubba Horowitz. Todd, we've got about 40 seconds. Uh, what are your thoughts when it comes to the livestock? I think the livestock has reached its peak. I don't know that there's a lot of room. I mean, I'm not saying they're going straight down. I'm not panicking about it, but I, I would be, if I were going to trade them right now, I'd be a seller just in general. I mean, we're at all time highs in cattle. Uh, hogs, I thought, as we talked last, a buck was about going to be about the top. We're on the downside of the summer, and I think that's probably it for, for as far as big rallies for livestock. Sounds like uh, Dr. Horowitz would like to employ the good old-fashioned trailing stop, I think that smells like to me. I appreciate you coming on. That's uh, good stuff. Always great content. Have a great weekend out in Las Vegas. I know it's going to be kind of warm for you. Other than that, we're going to bring it back here to uh, Nashville.